Today we're going to go through how to install Fallout 4 Script Extender for your game. So in this video, I'm going to assume two things. One, I'm going to assume that you have Mod Organizer 2 set up. If you do not have it set up, I have a video for that and uh, it will be linked in the description. Go back and watch it and do those steps and then you can come back. The second thing that I'm assuming is that you actually have Fallout 4 installed on your machine. Once again, if you don't have it installed, go and do that and then come back. Uh, if you have both of those things done, uh, then you can follow along with this video. You will have everything that you need. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to f4se.silverlock.org. And uh, I will have this linked in the description so you don't have to go searching for it. Once you're on this screen, you're going to go to this Fallout 4 runtime 1.10.163. That is uh, the version number uh, at the time of this video. So you're going to click on the 7Z archive and you're going to show in folder. And then I have a uh, FO4SE uh, folder on my desktop. Uh, I just like to keep everything neat like that. You don't have to do it that way, but uh, I like it and it, it helps me. So you're just going to drag this over and you're going to put it in the folder so you have a place to extract it. So this is where you're going to need a uh, file extractor like 7-Zip or, or WinRAW. And I will uh, have a link in the description to 7-Zip if you don't already have it. So you're going to right click on the file. You're going to go to 7-Zip. You're going to extract here. And then this will give you the actual file. You can then go ahead and delete the archive. you can open the Fallout 4 SE folder. So now this is actually the actual contents of F4 SE. And so what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to your Fallout 4 directory. I have created that on my desktop. I would suggest you do the same. That would help you. That will help you out immensely. And then it's going to be in my, if you have it on Steam, it's going to be in Steam, Steam apps, common Fallout 4. You're going to highlight all of these and then you're just going to drag it over. So if you are updating FO4SE uh, and you already have it installed in your directory, you may see this pop up. And so if you're updating it, you're gonna wanna hit replace uh, all files. If, you are, if you're downloading it for the first time, you're not gonna have that pop up. Once it is installed, you are good to go. And a way to test to make sure it works and that everything is good to go, you're gonna wanna open Mod Organizer 2 you're going to want to go to your Fallout 4 instance. Just to show you how to do that, you're going to go to File, Manage Instances, go to Fallout 4, and then go to Switch to this instance. It's going to want to restart Mod Organizer 2, which is fine. You can ignore that pop-up just because I don't have it uh, linked to Nexus. You can if you want. Then you're going to go to F4SE. That is the, uh, that's where you're going to run this game from now on. You are no longer going to run it from the normal Fallout 4 launcher. Go to F4SC, go to run. Wait for it to boot up. Okay. And if you get to the screen, if it starts the way that it should uh, and it's everything's normal, then you know you have installed FO4SE correctly. So the reason why you want a script extender is because it gives you access to so many different mods that you can put into your load order. So uh, I know there are some people who think that keeping up uh, the script extenders for Skyrim or Fallout is a big pain in the butt. It is really, really simple, obviously, obviously because we just did it. It's only a few clicks. Uh, if you have found this video helpful, make sure you click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this or you just want to hang out in the community, uh, you can subscribe and hit that bell notification button. If you have any questions about your load order or how to get your game set up, we have a Discord, which will be linked in the description below. Come join us there and we'll try to answer or any questions you have. But thanks for tuning in this video and I will see you in the next one.